Item Number SCP-6112 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-6112 is to be kept in a standard video storage unit in the Media Archive of Site-18. Handling of SCP-6112 discs requires the use of a disposable latex glove to prevent exposure to fingerprints or smudges. An LCD television screen with an external DVD drive has been provided in Observational Theater 01, as well as equipment to record viewings. As a safety precaution, it is recommended for all personnel who feel unwell after viewing SCP-6112 to visit an on-site psychiatric facility for an evaluation. SCP-6112 is a standard DVD disc case containing a collection of the first two seasons of the popular American sitcom television series, Seinfeld. The printed cover on the front has been entirely removed, exposing the black case, and a piece of adhesive tape with the words 1 plus 2 written in felt-tip black pen. The Seinfeld has been written on an adhesive tape in an identical manner on the spine of the case. Despite claiming to contain multiple seasons of Seinfeld, the case only contains a single DVD disc. Upon inserting the SCP-6112 disc into a DVD player, the screen will load into a terminal screen. This screen is completely black with bright red font and contains no logos or images. Using the television remote, the user is able to select a specific episode from seasons 1 to 2 of Seinfeld through a drop-down menu. The only known methods of exiting the terminal screen are to either disconnect power to the monitor and DVD player, or to select an episode. The anomalous effects begin to manifest after the conclusion of the first scene in the episode, excluding the opening stand-up act performed by Jerry Seinfeld. The next scene will deviate heavily from the original episode script. The topics of these new scenes are significantly darker than the show's intended tone. Topics have ranged from embarrassing childhood memories to severe subjects like childhood trauma, domestic abuse, physical altercations, mental illness, and graphic violence. The characters in the scene will often discuss and mock the topic as if they have been in the situation themselves. Several of the show's actors and producers, including Jerry Seinfeld and Larry David, have denied ever participating in or writing the scenes shown in SCP-6112. SCP-6112 episodes are noticeably shorter than non-anomalous episodes of Seinfeld, running in at an average 7 minutes. An average episode runs at 22 minutes long. Unlike a standard episode of Seinfeld, there is no apparent B-plot. In the event that audience members watch the same episode again, it will play out completely different. Additionally, attempts to rewind or pause an episode have resulted in failure. Records show that no two episodes have ever been exactly the same. However, all recorded incidents of SCP-6112 scenes maintain a few consistent traits. The scenes will consist primarily of the show's main characters, Jerry Seinfeld, George Costanza, Elaine Bennis, and Cosmo Kramer. However, not every scene will contain every character. The setting of the scenes will almost always be limited to Jerry's apartment. In rare cases, the episodes will have scenes outside the apartment. The setting will always be nighttime. The scenes will feature no background music or sound effects with the exception of the laugh track. The laugh track will play at seemingly random occurrences, regardless of whether there was humorous intent or even if there was anything happening on screen. The laugh track occasionally plays slower or faster, leading to the sound interlacing with a character's dialogue. The ending of every episode is similar. The final scene always ends with every living character leaving the room and closing the door, leaving the camera to record the empty apartment for up to 30 seconds while the credits play before abruptly being cut off. In the credits, the name associated with executive producer has been changed to one of the audience members' full names. The dialogue of the characters does not reflect the actual content of the show. Characters will make claims contradicted by other episodes, 
as well as discuss events that have never occurred in any episode of Seinfeld. The episodes do not appear to correlate with each other chronologically, if at all. After analysis, SCP-6112 was deemed completely safe to view. Viewing of SCP-6112 did not result in any psychological changes or anomalous side effects in any recorded tests. Early testing of SCP-6112 episodes were viewed by several Foundation researchers. However, after the researchers reported feeling uncomfortable witnessing SCP-6112 episodes, several anonymous D-Class personnel were used as the audience instead. Addendum 6112 Episode Summaries Episode Summary September 3, 2007 George complains about an annoying neighbor to Jerry. Kramer enters the room, overhearing George's problem, and offers to help him frame the neighbor for cash and marijuana. George jokingly agrees, while Kramer takes the response seriously and acts upon it. George later admits the neighbor is an ex-girlfriend who took the apartment in order to spite George after being unfaithful to their relationship. The episode ends with George confronting Kramer for framing the neighbor, while Kramer denies ever participating in the plan. Episode Summary October 12, 2007 The entire episode consists of George sitting on the couch in Jerry's apartment and staring directly at the camera. Towards the end of the episode, Jerry enters and chastises George for wasting so much time watching television. George shoots Jerry out of the room and stares at the camera for roughly another minute before he picks up the remote and the recording cuts to static. Episode Summary October 16, 2007 Elaine tells Jerry and George an anecdote about how she was bullied in high school by a group of three girls. Elaine freezes mid-sentence and begins reciting the full name, date of birth, home address, phone number, and occupation of three individuals while in a trance-like state. Kramer enters and along with Jerry and George begins to insult Elaine with derogatory and sexist comments. After two minutes of this, Elaine picks up a metal bar and begins bludgeoning the other characters with it while they begin to scream. After knocking Jerry, George, and Kramer onto the ground, seemingly unconscious, Elaine drops the metal bar and sits on the couch while the other characters rise. All characters begin casually engaging in a conversation about a local Chinese restaurant, showing no recollection of the previous scene. Episode Summary November 15, 2007 Jerry and Elaine argue about the custody of a hypothetical child while George watches from off-screen. Jerry claims that he has not seen the child since the year 1971, while Elaine reveals that Jerry's alcoholism drove her to a mental breakdown, resulting in her keeping the child in New Jersey. A second Jerry enters the room with several empty glass bottles of beer and begins throwing them around the room, leading the other characters to scream and attempt to hide behind furniture. The laugh track continues to play on loop as the scene unfolds into chaos until a bottle shatters in George's face, knocking him onto the floor and splattering blood on the furniture. The second Jerry exits the scene as the remaining characters scream in horror. The laugh track continues to loop and appears to increase in volume and hysterics. Episode Summary January 17, 2008 Notably, this episode does not include a scene inside Jerry's apartment. The two characters, equipped with shovels, dig a large hole while discussing a variety of topics. Subjects of conversation include horror movies, celebrities, stalking, violence, human anatomy, prison, and breakfast cereals. Both George and Kramer are noticeably at unease, and George begins to sniffle around the five-minute point. At this point, neither character talks again. The episode cuts the footage from a camera zooming in on the second-floor window of an unknown building. This scene lasts only for a few seconds before cutting back to the empty forest clearing for the remainder of the episode. What can be presumed to be George and Kramer's car is heard driving off at the end. Episode Summary February 2, 2008 Jerry is sitting alone in his apartment for several minutes before George, Kramer, and Elaine enter. 
The characters wander around the room while talking to each other, with the exception of Jerry. Jerry spends the remainder of the episode attempting to communicate with the other characters. However, the other characters appear to be completely aware of Jerry's presence in the room. After several minutes of failed attempts at conversation, Jerry lies down in the middle of the room and cries as the other characters laugh. At the end of the episode, the other characters leave Jerry crying on the floor. However, shortly after the exit, Jerry stands up and begins laughing hysterically to himself. Episode Summary February 11, 2008 This episode, for the majority, features no laugh track or any recognizable characters. The entire episode appears to have been recorded via dashcam footage. The first two minutes of the episode consist of driving through a straight road in a small town before stopping at a parking lot. The vehicle is idle for another minute as the driver, an obscured figure in the dark, exits the vehicle and walks off screen. The driver walks back into the vehicle with what appears to be two bottles of an unknown beverage. The remainder of the episode features the vehicle driving along the road for several minutes, frequently flashing with static and showing a new location. Notably, the car begins to frequently waver close to the middle yellow line. Halfway through the sixth minute, the car appears to drift off the road and hits an unknown figure before crashing into a pole. What can be presumed to be the driver can be seen running away from the scene and into the nearby forest as the video devolves into static. The static lasts for several seconds as what can be interpreted to be a warped, demonic laugh track plays. Immediately after, the episode cuts back to Jerry's empty apartment as the credits roll. No further testing has been attempted. Several other episodes of SCP-6112 were recorded, but were not included as they were deemed unfit for permanent documentation. Addendum 6112 Incident Log in a later test, an interaction between SCP-6112 and the audience was discovered accidentally. In the middle of a scene containing Jerry, Elaine, and Kramer, one of the audience members stood up and walked to a different part of the room for an extended period of time to avoid the television. Shortly after the subject broke focus with SCP-6112, the characters on screen abruptly ceased talking and stood frozen in silence for several seconds. Jerry, Elaine, and Kramer slowly rotated their heads to be staring directly at the camera. The character stayed frozen in its position until the audience member walked back to the television. Moments later, the character simultaneously continued their scene from where they left off. The other two members of the same audience reported that they found the scene unnerving. These two subjects were unable to get the same result from SCP-6112 when they walked away from the television during that episode.